Hello, welcome back to Better Sushi Live Learning. In this episode, I want to share with you um, some kind of uh, compositing setup that I did. Um, so basically, I'm working on this app for the iPhone 10, and uh, you know what I've, I've been doing? I've been making like uh, some kind of face mask for uh, for the app, and then so basically any kind of a uh, like a mask can easily be mapped into my face and following uh, my facial expression. So this is one example. I'm using this uh, one of the Star Wars character. Uh, you know what uh, this character is. And I'm just doing this basic compositing using Blender. Um, the actual head tracking, uh, the head scanning itself on the phone is done uh, in 60 frames per second. This one has been edited um, in a using Apple Clips app, so it is running at 30 frames per second. But if you kind of record it at 60 frames per second and then play back at 30 frames per second, it still somehow feels uh, more realistic. Uh, I don't know why. So this is the final result, the final render. Um, the one that's actually coming from the iPhone 10 from my app is actually looking something like this. It's a green screen. Uh, in my final final app, probably I won't be using this character because it's probably copyrighted to Disney. Uh, this star this is Star Wars character, and Disney owned the Star Wars character. But this is just a proof of concept, and I I like this character, and it's perfect for uh, like example for a mask face mask, and for iPhone 10. So anyhow, yeah, so. This is what it came, uh, this is how I recorded from the app. And for me to code the app to do this, it's actually um, still, I, I need to figure out how to do it. I'm just recording it using Apple uh, screen recording. So I get this square animation of the head, just making like a random uh, talk. And inside Blender, so since this is like kind of like a green screen with a floating head, I kind of make it so it's a bit like a um, Zordon character in Power Rangers, you know, like a talking head. I think the idea of having talking heads as augmented reality is going to be very common, maybe starting to like from now until next year. 2018, you will see a lot of floating heads everywhere. And Basically, with the augmented reality, you will be able to do uh, real-time compositing anywhere. You know, it is actually not that hard. Um, if you if you know how, it's it's quite easy to have like a three D three um, D render that you can layer on top of the like a real three D uh, like real scenes from the camera of your phone. And this is just one example. So. I could actually do the whole thing like this with a background, like a moving background and then a moving head, do it on the phone, but I need to code it and make it into an app. And that's kind of like um, an extra step. That will take me a while until I have the app that works that way. But I have to tell you that it's not actually that hard, but I like to do it in Blender because I can do it in pause. I, I have more control and it's a little bit kind of nicer to do it this way anyhow. So green, this is a green uh, screen footage. I just bring it into Blender Compositing and Blender Compositing have this uh, keying node. And keying nodes uh, with a green background, this make it very easy. So this guy apparently have slight transparency, you can see here. So there's some kind of uh, green behind this mask. Uh, but with this uh, keying set to green, uh, I managed to get the alpha of this guy, and then I have this uh, the beach uh, background. I took this photo as well using the phone. Uh, I just crop it into square, and I use it as a background. I think it's better as a moving image, maybe like using live photo or something. Uh, anyhow, uh, I for extra effects, I also kind of displaced the this talking head a little bit using um, this procedural texture that's being generated um, using blender procedural texture so it's the typical uh, the normal cloud uh, you can use anything basically um, like I don't know I try to for annoy I think it should update in real time 
if I switch yeah it should update here I don't know why it's not updating backdrop well it should update but anyhow uh, maybe I need to reload it from here I click auto refresh or oh, maybe my computer is not strong enough but anyhow I displace the image and this is the result I get so it's a little bit um, kind of it's not like moving unless I kind of offset it um, in here so it's just updating now somehow um, so yeah it's pretty simple you have seen me uh, talking about how to do this displacement and if you can do the offsetting here and maybe scale it somehow to make to make a uh, displacement kind of moving kind of like uh, on the water yeah, the effects gonna be a little bit better and then I just scale this to match the, the render size put it together using alpha offer and composite together and as a viewer so